God, look rough now. I just want to take a few minutes to talk about Paul Golden and Jada Franson's sentence. I'll wait for a few more people to log on though. Good evening. How you doing? It's not as cold, is it? Which is what I'm at football with, lad. But today has seen what Jada Franson sentenced to 36 weeks in prison. Paul Golden to 18 weeks. This case, let me explain to you how this started. Basically, I was informed that a young girl was raped in a chicken shop near Margate. And I went down and researched what had happened. So I went to the chicken shop. And guess what I found? I found that the men who had took a 16-year-old girl off the street, she went in drunk, asked for directions. They took her upstairs, five of them. One of them an illegal immigrant. One of them an illegal immigrant. And they gang raped her. Now, they weren't found guilty yet, so they were on trial. They were on bail. I found out they were on bail, so I went straight to the shop. And lo and behold, their chicken shop is still open. So... They've been accused of raping a child in their shop who asked for directions and the judge has given them bail and they're still running the shop. They just changed the name of the shop. Exactly the same people are still running the shop. So the first thing I did when I got to the shop was I asked the other businesses next door, excuse me, you seen any young girls in there? Have you seen any young girls going in this shop? To which I'm told, yeah, there were some young girls in there yesterday. So here you have five men who have raped a child, who are awaiting their court case. So yes, they're innocent till proven guilty, but they're still running the shop. All of their DNAs were found on the girl and on the bed. So there's evidence to show they're guilty. How are they on bail? That's what I wanted to know. When I went to there, I found out they're on bail. So I then went to the courtroom. I went to the courtroom and I waited for them outside because I wanted to make a video and show every one of you who they were. I wanted to show the people of Margate who they were. I wanted to make a video and say, these are the men, if you know this shop, do not go into it because they've gang raped a child or they're alleged to have gang raped a child. So I went to the court case to wait outside to make a, to make a video of, the, of these men. Five Muslim men, one an illegal immigrant from Afghanistan, I believe, if I remember rightly. He went on the run, all on bail, yeah? I then found out as well, other rumours that they raped the boy there as well. Previously, they raped the boy there. So, they're on bail. How do you get bail for that? I got remanded for having illegal, for, for illegally entering America. How do you get bail for gang raping a child and having all your DNA on her? So the judge has given them bail. Yeah? So the judge has endangered... I wonder if I'm getting even in trouble for saying this. The judge has endangered the British public. The judge has left the British public in danger by giving these rapists bail. So I went to take pictures. So I couldn't get hold of them. She, she, the judge let them use the back door. So the judge put them out the fire exit. If you're watching this, give it a share. As many people need to understand what's gone on behind why Paul... You can, if you don't like Paul, Paul Golden, you don't like him. If you don't like Jada Franson, you don't like her. But you need to understand what's gone on behind the reason why they went to, the court, to these people's houses. Yeah. So I've gone, to, I've gone to the court, the judge let them use the back door, and they escaped out the back, so I couldn't get video footage of them. So then I said, that's all right, I'm going to go to their house. Four o'clock in the morning, boom, my door goes in. I'm arrested and I'm held on contempt of court charges. I'm taken directly to stand before the judge. Now, the judge gave them bail. They were running a chicken shop after raping a girl. In between, so when, when I went to court, what I wanted to do was stand up and tell her this. I wanted to stand up and say, you put the British public in, in danger. You put more young girls in danger. Don't try having a go at me and don't try blaming me because I wanted to show people who they are. Yeah? But they hadn't been convicted. They, 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 they got convicted two days later. All five of the men were convicted for gang rape. They are all in prison now for, I think, 20 years because they gang raped a child who asked for directions. 
Now, in between me going there, I had... It cost me, and I'll say again, if you're one of the people who donated, I thank you very much, because what just happened to Paul and Jada, they wanted to do to me. My, my QC who turned up that morning, I had two of the best QCs in the country sent, £20,000 it cost. I had two of the best QCs in the country sent, and they sat down and said, she's sending you to jail. I said, how can she send me to jail? She's got five rapists bail. Those five rapists are running a chicken shop. Young English girls are walking in and out of that chicken shop every day without realising what's gone on. They're, they're in danger. People in Margate are in danger. And they're, they're on bail. So anyway, she gave me an 18-month suspending sentence. Now, what's that supposed to do is make me shut up. Keep me away from court cases. There's a court case going on right now. Huddersfield, 29 men, eight of them called Mohammed, raping young girls. Two of them are working in chicken shops right now. Two of them are working in chicken shops right now. Young children are going in those chicken shops. Your daughters are going in those chicken shops. Schoolgirls are going in those chicken shops. How can you be on rape charges for raping children and you're still running chicken shops? How is that? How can that be allowed? So the judges, the judge has completely and utterly fucked up. She's endangered the British public. And because I went, that's what I went there for, I went there to warn people because of that, I'm on an 18 month suspended sentence. If I do anything, if they can find one single thing on me, I'll ride three months in prison. Now, Paul and Jada have just been sent to prison. Paul Golden is a massive target in prison. Guaranteed, same as I was. He'll either have to punch his way through it, or he's, he's gonna get, it's, it's not, I, I couldn't think of a worse, in fact, I've been in that situation, so I know how terrifying it is, yeah? Because everyone wants to get you. Money's put up to get you. Every Muslim wants to target you. Everyone's gonna hurt you. Now. Paul and Jada, from what I understand, is they went and they distributed leaflets near to where this man, who's now convicted of raping a child, lived. To warn the people who live there that a man that raped a child, because he has raped a child, because he's in jail for raping a child, lives here. And be careful with your children, because he's on bloody bail. Because the judges let him go home. That's what's happened. That's what they've done. Whether you like them or not, whether you don't like or whether you think they used it to do this, whatever the reasons, the men are convicted. The men are in prison for gang raping an English child who was drunk and asked for directions. And Paul and Jada Franson are currently now riding it out in a prison for trying to highlight that. Whether they went about it the right way, whether they screamed, whatever has gone on, that this situation should never, ever have happened because they should never, ever have been on bloody bail for raping a kid when all their semen were found on her. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. What's all? Sort of... I walk away because another dad just turned up. I'm... You can't see that, can you? So, what sort of country are we in when, like, whether, to be honest, what I'd say again is I wouldn't have gone to that courtroom and I wouldn't have had to go down there if that judge hadn't given them bail and they weren't running a chicken shop after raping kids. None of this would have had to happen. Paul Golding and Jada Franson wouldn't have done the same. Whether they'd done it, well, I haven't read into what they shouted or screamed. I, not, I understand that they put leaflets through and this went all the way to the Attorney General, I believe, to charge them. This is politically motivated, guaranteed. And then all the headlines you're reading now, the same sort of headlines that fly out, Hate crime, hate against Muslims. Hate against Muslims! Those five Muslims raped an English child! Talk about hate! They raped an English child! And you want to talk about hate? Because someone made a leaflet about them! It's absolutely ludicrous! It's, 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 oh, it's so infuriating! It's so infuriating! And yeah, oh, that's, Well, that's my thoughts on it, before I get too vented up and too angry about it. The fact that this has even been allowed to happen, the fact that they've, they're in prison, is an absolute disgrace. And the hope, and this is what the state will hope, this is what all the anti-fascist groups will hope, this is what all the Muslim hope groups will hope, is that they'll get seriously hurt. And if they don't get seriously hurt, they'll do, I spent 22 weeks in solitary confinement. That was, that was done to break me. That's what will now happen probably to Paul Golden. And it's just, and it's abs and, and what is their crime? So if you what, cut all the bullshit out of the crime they've done, yeah? Five Muslim men raped a young child, illegal immigrants, shouldn't have been here, they were allowed to continue running a chicken shop that they raped her in and people tried to highlight it. People tried to let people know. That's the crime. That is the crime. Now, 
it's all very well people saying, oh, they're like, I see people saying, yeah, but they're this, they're that, yeah, but they're that. Yeah, but five men raped the fucking child. Five men raped the child. And the judge had given them bail. The only person who should be in prison right now is that judge for endangering the British public. We will make America great again.